What's going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, I wanna show you a nice little Python library or module that will help you to learn about algorithms and data structures on a theoretical level and also on an implementation level in Python. So this is not gonna be a classic Python tutorial where I show you how to do something, how to implement something. I wanna show you that module and then you can use it in order to learn about algorithms and data structures on your own. So you should have some basics probably, but once you have the very basics down, you can look at different algorithms, how they're implemented, what the runtime complexities are and so on. Uh, and this is what I wanna show you today. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is we need to open up a command line because this is an external module and it's called pygorithm, like algorithm in Python, pygorithm. So we have to type pip install pygorithm like that. Uh, once we have that, we can use the import. So you can, we, can, we can just import the sub modules. And for that, we type from pygorithm and now we can press dot or point to see the sub module. So we have data structures, we have sorting, math, we have geometry, searching and so on. A couple of other sub modules here. Let's go with sorting, for example. And then I can say import and let's go with bubble sort. Now, if you know what runtime complexity is in the first place, and I have, by the way, in algorithm and data structures uh, course on this channel, if you don't know the basics, but essentially, if you know what runtime complexity is in the first place, and you also know basically what sorting is and how some basic sorting algorithms work, you can look at the implementation here. So we can go ahead, for example, and type print bubble sort dot get code. And this is going to give us the Python code in the command line. So as a command line output, in this case, this here is the code for a bubble sort. You can see we get a list as a parameter here and then uh, we basically have the ordinary bubble sort where we swap the neighbors if they're not in the right order. And we do that n divided by two times. Uh, at least I think this is n divided by two. I'm not sure how this is implemented here. Um, but you can get the code of any sorting algorithm here. And we can also go ahead and say print bubble sort dot time complexities, for example. So I can delete the code here. There you go, bubble sort time complexities. And you can see here, best case is O of n, so linear. Average case is more complex. And worst case is n to the power of two, so n squared, which is quadratic runtime complexity in the worst case. Um, and we can do that for different sorting algorithms, so we don't have to go with bubble sort. We can also go with merge sort, which should have uh, lock n all the time, or for all three cases. Uh, there you go, n lock, oh, yeah, not lock n, but n lock n, which is pseudo linear. Um, so you can do it like that and you can, you can look up the code again, get code, and you can also use the sorting algorithm. Now, of course, Python has already uh, a sorting algorithm that it uses the Tim sort, but you can also use these sorting functions here using that library. So you can go ahead, for example, and say, I have my list and it's going to have a couple of values in here like that. And then I can just say print merge sort dot sort my list and you can see that this sorts the list using the merge sort so of course if i want to have uh the end lock and runtime complexity i have to use merge sort it's going to be faster than if i use a bubble sort uh so that's it just for the sorting algorithms we have different things here so we have also some basic mathematics stuff like uh factorial so we can just go ahead and say from pygorithm dot math import i think it was math factorial and then we can go ahead <clears throat> and I think this is a recursive implementation. If I go and say factorial dot get code, I think this is uh, recursive. Yeah, it's recursive. Um, so that's that's one thing that we can do here. And also we can do some more basic stuff, which is not sorting, searching or anything complex stuff like just operating on strings. And this can be quite useful. Now, of course, Probably if you're into competitive programming, you should know these things from your head. You don't have to rely on a library like this one, but it can be quite good for, for getting started maybe, or just doing things faster. If you have a task like swap a string or check if something is an anagram or something, you can just use Pygorithm for that. And for this uh, particular thing, we just say from Pygorithm dot strings import, and then we have anagram, uh, isogram and so on palindrome can go with anagram and for this we're going to use a popular example from Shutter Island we're going to say s1 is Andrew latest and s2 is 
Edward Daniels. Um, and then what we can do now is instead of writing the function on our own, we can just print here anagram dot is anagram s1 and the notation here is a little bit um, different because what we do here is we provide a word and then a list and then it gets all the anagrams from the list. So we can pass s2 here and we can also pass some other strings like hello and not an anagram. And then it's only going to give us s2 as a result here. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> and also, of course, we can go ahead and see the code of all that. So how does it work? We can go anagram dot get code. There you go. So you can see here also with documentation with a comment uh, with doc strings and here we get a list and a word and then it iterates and it looks for anagrams and so on. Um, so this can be quite useful. I don't want to go through all the things that we can do here. I think I'm going to show you the data structures though. Uh, because they can be quite interesting from pygorithm dot data structures. We're going to import. What do we have your linked list heap, Q stack and so on. Let's go with a linked list. Um, essentially a linked list I have made, I think more than one video on a linked list, but at least one video I have on a linked list. Essentially just we have one node pointing to the next one, pointing to the next one, pointing to the next one and so on. Um, and I think actually we need to, to say, um, from data structures dot linked list, we want to import the singly linked list like that. Um, now let me see if I'm blocking this. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, and essentially, now we can just go ahead and first of all, look at the implementation, we can say, okay, singly linked list dot get code. What does this data structure look like? And we can see how you would implement that in Python. Um, kind of interesting. And of course, we can use it. So we can create a linked list like LL equals singly linked list like that. And then I can just use the insert function. So in the beginning, insert at start 15, then insert at end 16. And I can then copy this. Like that. Um, and then just print ll dot get data. <clears throat> so there you go, just a simple linked list. Of course, now we don't see that this is a linked list. It could this could also be just an ordinary array, but it is a linked list and we can look at the code and it actually works like a linked list. So this is also one thing that you can do. You can just use the data structures from this module if you don't have them already in Python or you don't want to implement them yourself. And one last thing that I want to show you here again, I'm not going to show you everything because the basic idea is the same. You can get the code, you can get the complexities and all that for the different sub modules. Um, but one thing to navigate this can be quite interesting. Um, you just have to import pygorithm. And then you can just use the help function on pygorithm. I think on pygorithm itself, it is kind of useless, is it? Um, no, actually, you can see here also the packages. But if you go to, for example, help pygorithm dot sorting, uh, you should be able to see all the sorting algorithms provided. Now, what's the problem here? Uh, module pygorithm has no okay, maybe I have to import it. Okay, yeah, I have to import it. Uh, but then essentially, you can see here py pygorithm sorting and we have the package contents. What kind of sorts do we have here? So this is an overview and then you know what to import. And you can do that with the different things like searching. And then we should be able to see binary search, BFS, DFS, exponential search and so on. So that's just a little thing I want to show you here. Again, this is not a classic tutorial. I just want to show you that because a lot of people learn about algorithms and data structures. They watch a course like my course, which you should watch, by the way. Um, but then they want to get into code. They don't know how to implement stuff. They don't want to look up every algorithm. They want to do as much coding as possible and as little watching of videos and theoretical content as possible. Uh, so this can be a nice way to just play around with stuff if you're interested in that. And this is just one thing that I want to show you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.